Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Jay Burness, and in this video we're going to show you how to do some specific left semicircular canal stimulations. Let's get started with the left horizontal canal. So what you're going to do is you're going to stick your thumb out in front of you. Uh, just about arm's length distance is fine, and your eyes are going to fix on your thumb. So no matter what we do with the head, you want to keep your eyes fixed on the thumb. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to shift our head sharply to the left while we maintain our eyes on the thumb and then very, very, very slowly come back to the neutral position again. So one more time, sharp to the left, eyes staying fixed on the thumb, bringing the head back very, 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 very slowly eyes maintained on the thumb. And you're going to repeat that as many times as I tell you to. Uh, please do not do any more than I've recommended. You don't want to fatigue. Alright, and next we're going to do the left anterior canal. Now for this one it's a little bit tricky. The left anterior canal runs in this direction and we want to stimulate that can canal specifically. So what I like to tell my patients to do is is to imagine that you have a horn sticking out of the front of the left side of your forehead. And what we're going to do uh, when we're going through the motion is we're going to try and point that horn at the thumb. So just like before, the uh, left thumb is out in front of you, arm's length distance, and again the eyes are going to be fixed on the thumb. We're not moving the eyes at all. They stay on the thumb no matter what happens to our head. And we're going to point that left horn at the thumb. So, and we want to make it a little bit quicker and then with a slow return. So here we go like this. Quick and dead slow return. Staying fixed on the thumb. And again, quick and dead slow return. And again, you're going to repeat that as many times as I've told you to for this week's repetitions. All right, and next we're going to do the left posterior canal. This one's a little bit trickier. The left posterior canal runs back in this direction and we want to stimulate that canal. Basically what we have to do is tilt our head in that direction. So what I like to tell my patients to do is to just imagine that they're trying to put their left ear onto their left shoulder blade. And again, the thumb's going to go out in front just like this. You're going to keep the eyes fixed on the thumb at all times and tip the head back like this and then slowly return. So again, we want to go a little bit faster with the movement, slow on the return, so this and slow return. This slow return. All right, pretty simple so far. Again, you're going to repeat that as many times as I've told you to do it for this week. Now, as things progress, uh, we want to make these tasks a little more complicated. You'll see over time that the repetitions will increase. You'll also see that, as I say, the tasks themselves may become more complicated. I may ask you to do more than one specific canal at a time. So the, we call these combinations. So these are our left combinations. We'll show you, first of all, and we'll have you do a left horizontal and a left anterior combined. So the thumb goes out in front again, and we're going to go left horizontal, slow back to neutral again left anterior. Slow back to neutral again. So that would be one repetition. Left horizontal. Left anterior. Left horizontal. Left anterior. So we always want to make that return motion to neutral slower than the actual stimulation movement. And just to make things even more complicated, let me show you the whole uh, combination for all the canals on the left side. Uh, left horizontal, left anterior, and left posterior. So it looks something like this. So left horizontal, left anterior, left posterior. Left horizontal, 
left anterior, left posterior. So that's it for our left-sided stimulations.